my mom just called the ambulance. Uh, my dad s tried to uh, have supper last night. My mom cut up the pieces. He can't even swallow. He can't. All he can pretty much eat now is uh, well, he can't even pretty much eat. He can't even swallow. I don't think so. He can just only drink stuff. So uh, finally, he decided he's gonna go to the hospital. So the doctor told him to call the ambulance. Even so, my mom just calling the ambulance right now, like the other night. Um, he tried to eat and he couldn't eat, so he was pretty frustrated, so he was crying, and, and then the night before he said he wanted to die, so and that was tough to hear, so I know my mom, she told my mom that before, so. Hopefully they can like give him some intravenous and figure out what's going on because this has never got any of the tests back. So I know he's got a lot of stuff going on with his gut and that. So, but uh, hopefully they can figure some out because he's he's in so much pain. So hopefully uh, they can figure something out today and he can actually get some like like they'll probably give him intravenous and stuff because he's. I think he's down to less than 130 pounds, and he was like 189 a couple months ago or three months ago. I forget. Mom's got a list. At least a couple months. So man, it's it's brutal. He's gone down pretty fast. So uh, like it's it's got to be something worse than colitis. He's got colitis. He's got uh, leakage uh, from the uh, out of the bladder or the liver. Uh, he has to pee all the time. And yesterday he, he, he got, I got he, I had to help him up to go pee, and then he had. To, because he's got colitis, he can't even control it. So he had to, he went both at, at the same time. So I had to clean him up. So he had a uh, shower this morning before he went to, uh, before his mom called the ambulance. So the ambulance is coming pretty soon here. She's just talking to them right now on the phone. So hopefully everything goes well today.